Carry that, carry. Come back with the mat. Come back with the mat. Go on, come on in, arm. Your tape is now, Johnny. Your tape is now, Johnny. Shut him down. Shut him down. Get in with him, Johnny. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, go! No hack, no hack! Yes, go, 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 Two before the release. No break, no break, no break. Nothing, no Tom, nothing, Tom. Up! Sasha Fiedler, man handler for south side, looking for the flick down the line. Andy Morris, oldest man in ultimate. He's read that perfectly. There we go, point to south side. Nice spike, very casual. Two all here from left to right south side team. Guy Bowles, ex-captain of UTI, uh, English import. Chris Vargas, number 20. Charles Bloomer, Australian player. Tall American, Cass. Jonathan Potts at the back, disc in his hand, current Australian captain. Nathan and uh, a chap whose name I don't know. Let's go Chile! Pulls up. Yeah, Victorians Chile! lining up in some sort of horizontal stack, it looks like. No. It's, they're isolating Teo in the middle. Teo Brown. To Tom Ragaki. Needs no introduction. A long flick to Shane somebody from New Zealand. Alex, ex-UTI player as well. Old team out of Long flick inside out, and that's overdone at the back, and that's a turnover for Sansa. Chris, just into play, looking for the dump. Struggling here, Jonathan Potts, snagging that. Charlie Bloomer. That's good, Jay, that's good, Jay. Struggling here. It's upwind and slightly uphill. Jonathan Potts. Swing pass. Working is pretty slow, it's pretty ugly. Guy balls with the frisbee. You'll see some fakes here. Come on, boys! Charles Bloomer. Steady. Chris Vanargas. That's yeah. a great block. Taylor Brown. You've seen that before. Dan bringing the disc into play. Up, 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 Good take up, 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 from Tom Ragaki. Crossfield flick. And a... Oh, fantastic bit from Shane. Kiwi import playing for Victoria. But at the back. Jump the pots down the line. Charles Bloomer. Oh, Chris picking that up well. Jump the pots again with the swing. Oh, almost uncatchable. It's a turnover. Alex Evans, crossfield flick. Tom Ogaki with the timeout, Victoria. Crucial point. 
Point to Victoria, huge point, huge turnabout, 3 2 Victoria. Uh, Andy Norman, commonly known as the brains of the uh, Victorian team, and he's the brains behind the uh, the tactical ploy Victoria have been using in this tournament, which is to injure the main playmaker of the opposition. In the uh, semi-final, they uh, let's play some good O, Vic. Deliberately broke oh, sorry, the finger of uh, Pete Gardner, and of course in the game before that, Tom Rogacki deliberately, under his team instructions, broke Mike Neal's nose. Curious to know what player they focus on this time and what limb they intend to break, Andy. Well, we're basically leaving Tao on the field. We think we'll, you know, put the circumstances in place for another injury. I know we're all looking forward to that. Jens Meyer, uh, German import with the frisbee. Didn't like the look of that cut. And he, oh my God, it's a turnover. Southside. It'll be interesting to see if they keep their composure. They're certainly known for having a few hotheads on the team. Tara Brown recovered from that earlier injury. So Steve Campbell, also Australian player, lefty to shine. Dougie here. Marked by Chris Fair. Out to Steve Campbell. Low lefty backhand. Working it around, not making much ground, but very patient. Again, good defense from Southside. Great swing pass there. Can he break this? No. Big goal. Shane getting some yards. Fakes the hammer. Oh my god, crossfield hammer. Will Mitchell does enough. Will we see a foul called on this? I think we might. Didn't look to be a lot in it, but they uh, unfortunately don't ask my opinion on these ones. No, in fact they have. Chris Fair, ex-Australian handler, frisbee in his hand. Looking for the long one, not interested. Oh, that's a turnover. Ooh. Will Mitchell, not too concerned about a bit of contact. Victoria into the wind, this is a critical point. Tehran looking for the dump, gets it. Errol, tough go, oh, there'll be a foul on that. Counts back to zero. Doesn't force the pass. Dougie. The swing looked off. Wants the break. Looks like he can break. That's a fantastic grab from Shane. Made a big difference to this team. And throws a goal. That's 4 2. Victoria going up early, though we have seen this before. It was called on the play. The crowd don't love it. Big Earl, very popular with the ladies, has made the call there. That's why we love this sport. Plenty of discussion. Breaks it. It's a goal. 4 2. Notice Matt Barrett's out there in the middle of the field, one of the older denizens of the Australian game. Good pull, Will Mitchell. Feeling well with that. Wind getting up now, you may not notice it on film, but strong wind blowing from right to left, so south side against the wind. Jens Meyer, Sasha Wagner. And that's a good looking put, that's a great throw, and that's a great point. So Sash, pumped up, guy balls, getting them fired up, known for his disco moves. Here we go, south side pulling downwind now, and as I said, slightly downhill, Andy the Moose Norman. Little flick backhand. Out to Dan. Has made his name in Victoria. 
Gaki looking, certainly looking for the hack. Well marked by Cass. He's got an undercut. It's a beautiful flick. Oh, held on to it. Craig Turnbull putting it in on Alex Evans. Not a renowned receiver. Dan looking for the high backhand. Looking like a ballet. Oh, that's... Oh, my God. Tom Gaki doing what he does best. Well, apart from breaking noses, that is. Looking for the dump and not getting it. Ooh, could be a contested stall. It's a turnover anyway. Tom Gaki first TO but to be fair no cuts at all Andy Norman renowned for his intense man and man marking here I'll be very surprised if we don't hear some foul calls Chris looking for the break mark throw but Andy all over him like a rash Jonathan Potts safe secure hands of steel looks for the hug doesn't take it and possibly should have oh that's a beautiful throw and a nice grab and Guy Bowles who rarely puts it Right throw, wrong execution. Dan looking for a nice cut by Orgaki. Wants to put it, but there's a uh, straddle call. Tom looking lively. Cross field, Alex Evans. Experienced Pommy. Gaki again getting a few touches, and that's out of bounds Jonathan Potts very athletic very mobile very sexy Potts he picking the disc up here we'll get a good good view of his uh, his style his panache oh he's looked off that dump so he's going to have to put it it's a hammer and it's not a not a bad throw Andy Norman looking menacing Nice flick move to the straight away. Classic style. Looking for Tom. This is an isolation where they've isolated Tom Rogacki, who's fantastic in the air. Pulls that down. Nice flick up the line. Marked by Charles Bloomer. It looks like Gacki again. He wants that flick up the line. He wants it. Back to Andy Norman, running the show out here. Oh, had a wide open flick. Didn't take it. Back to Tom Rogacki. I know it's boring. Crossfield flick. Charles Bloomer under that. It's a mess. Oh, and ends up being caught by the unmarked Victorian player coming in from behind. Tom Rogacki pulling right to left, putting the disc into play downwind. Sasha Vidler under it, catches it, which you've got to do at this level. Chris Fair back to Vidler. Unusual play. That's a beautiful throw. Jensmar, Chris Fair, things moving. Swings at the Jensmar again. This has been a nice point so far. Will Mitchell going up the line, making a cut he won't be that proud of. Nice crossfield hammer. Big Errol, the man the ladies love to love. Sasha Feidler, loved by men and women around the world. Andy Morris, loved by all. Back to Feidler. Big Errol doing what he does worse, throwing the disc to his uh, teammates. Vidler looking for the, oh, and looking and getting the around the mark backhand. Will Mitchell injecting himself. There's got to be a, no, it's a point. There's no call. Jens Maher, sensational offense south side. South side from left to right, Guy Bowles, Jonathan Potts, Kaz, Charles Bloomer, Craig Turnbull. No, that's honour. My bad. And then Kai injecting himself into the game. New Zealander Andy, Andy Norman with the disc. Stuck there. That's the last place they want to be. Real pressure here. Andy Norman, experienced. Gak picking it up casually. He's a giant among men. Taylor Brown, a little bit of a bounce. Love tap. Foot guy balls. And that's the flick we expected to see to Shan. A beautiful throw. And oh my god. Uncharacteristic to say the least. Oh no, lefty. And oh my god, speaking of uncharacteristic, Jonathan Potts won't be happy with that. Oh no, just throwing that straight into the ground. First really unforced um, error we've seen. We won't see many more at this uh, this level of ultimate. Tom Rogaki, he'll play most of the points in this game. He's walking up slowly, catching a breath. Looking for Shane. 
well done. Takes the sensible option. Andy Norman on the swing. There's nothing. There's nothing. Now right side. Ah. Nice yeah, flick to Shane. It's made a nice undercut. Once Gak again. Cross field hammer. And it's a beauty. Oh my god. How do you stop that? Andy Norman again running the show out there. He's the, the Brian's behind this team, as I already mentioned. Come on, Cass. Come on, Cass. Jonathan Potts. Looks like he's forcing straight up. Is that a second time? Time out. Time out for Victoria. Good defense from south side. Disc back in play after that uh, regulation two minute timeout. Tom Rogacki with the disc. We may see this again in this game. Looking for Shane, the crossfield flick. Doesn't like it. Andy Norman just run, absolutely running the show out there. He's a big man, a lot bigger than he looks. He's about. Oh! Is that his first turn over the game? Oh! I think there's a foul call. The crowd seem to have had a reaction. Jason Ray, normally with nothing to say, decides he doesn't like it. And, well, from my completely unbiased perspective, I've seen better calls. Some sort of discussion on physiology going on out there. Seems to have been resolved to satisfaction. Andy Norman will be happy, of course, because that keeps his stats looking good. Oh, Jonathan Potts with a fantastic hand block. That is fantastic work. And just an update at this stage, so far Victoria have not injured anybody on the Southside team and uh, we would only presume it's a matter of time. Not sure who they've lined up, but uh, it would be one of the stars, I presume. Kai, it was a great break the mark throw. Charlie Bloomer on the sideline, an intense competitor. Craig Turnbull, ex-King Brown player. Beautiful flick. Guy balls on his toes. Look at Charlie! Oh. Nice cross field flick. Travel call. The Victorians very into physiology here and like to like to retrace every foul. Possibly trying to get a bit more time on camera. Disc is in again. Charlie Charlie giving them the option. Kai. Running machine, biggest uh, quads in ultimate, possibly in the world. Oh, Anna, who's already had a downwind blooper, nearly comes up with another one. And that's a nice shot. Charlie Bloomer, not famous for his flake, will be very happy with that. South side getting fired up. Will the animal Mitchell? This can play at 5 all. South side hucking. Upwind, and that pull has just gone out, meaning it's taken back to the middle of the field. The handlers are Alex Evans and Dan. And it, I'm not sure what's it looks like, some sort of a set play. Steve it's outside playing some sort of junk, possibly a three, I think it's a three man FM zone, to just take away that set play from the Victorians and possibly throw as many throws as they can in the center of the field. Tom Rogaki. A giant among men, as I've said, a beautiful down the line flick. On, Alex it. Evans takes a good grab. Track, track, track. Re- under real pressure here is the thrower. Wants the cross field hammer. Now. Oh no, he's gone down the line with the flick. And oh, a fantastic bid there by. Fortunately, I don't know his name. Possibly Frank. Let's call him Frank. Put enough pressure on Dan to make him drop it. He's done well there as well. Chris V. Take it back, take it back, Chili. Tough, tough upwinder here. They're going to have to grind this one out. Nathan cutting under, doing a nice job. Looking for Will Mitchell. Chris getting nice and open. Jason McSheffrey lagging behind a little. It's a foul call there. Uncontested back to zero. Will Mitchell up the line with one of the worst cuts you'll ever possibly see. And he's continuing with it. Oh, Charlie Bloomer with a fantastic pickup. Casual. Nathan. Ow, get right on him! Will Mitchell continuing that habit of appalling dump cuts. Chris V. Ooh, Frank as we're now calling him. 
with a great grab. There's some sort of a pick called, and I think Steve Campbell just wants to get on with things. Good to see. Yeah, Charlie. Oh, Charlie Bloomer free up the line. Bloomer running the show at this point. Will Mitchell getting in the way at this point. There's a call on that. Matt Barrett out there doing a fantastic job on Will Mitchell. Between Matt and Will, they have contrived to make sure Will hasn't got the disc at this point. Charlie Bloomer with the frisbee, being marked by Alex Evans. Hello. Bloomer with that flick down the line. Will Mitchell finally getting his hands on the disc. A predictive throwaway here. Now across field to Chris V. Charles Bloomer really showing his stuff, and that's a beautiful throw from. Ch oh my God! Guy Balls, too much time to think about it, probably. <laughs> Victoria doing their best to turn it over. This will go long to, to uh, Tom. Oh, the line screaming no hark. Matt Barrett. Victoria calling it in, Southside calling it out. What a surprise. Will Mitchell, uh, I think, has realised the only way he can actually get the Frisbee in this point is to just walk over and pick it up. Unless Matt Barrett stops him, which he doesn't. Bloomer really, really showing his stuff in this point. Oh, Mitchell's called a timeout. Will Mitchell, disc in play. I can't, end the, oh, immediate turnover. That will kill Southside. Tom Wagaki with the disc. Gets that flick out, Matt no Barrett. Hook, no Back to Gak. Wants the hook and throws it. And that's a great grab from Shane. He was travelling at speed. Get involved, Tom! Get involved, Tom! Get involved, Tom. Cross field. Away! Away! Tom Wagaki. There's a call downfield. Some sort of a pick. In fact, Chris V may in fact be injured. He's limping off. Not sure what's happened there. Looks like some sort of leg injury. He'll go straight to see Jason Ray, who's the sideline doctor, who will provide him with uh, a modicum of sympathy. And I mean a modicum of sympathy. Tom Wagaki, again, very light on his feet. Looks for the inside-out flick, and that's a beautiful throw. Another pick called. Intensity level very high. And inevitably there will be some stoppages in play. Tom Rogaki with the disc for the 73rd time and that's another pick. In the background some cheers for the women lining up for the sprint final, the Dulio. Tom Rogaki with that cross field flick that is a great defensive block from Will Mitchell, who looks like, unfortunately, he has had some shoulder problems. Will taking a sub, but making up for the throwaway upfield. Great bid. That's your vital disc in play. Bottom left corner of the field, upwind. Probably the last place you actually want to be there. I want to get the disc off the line as quickly as possible. Craig okay, Turnbull with a nice little dump cut there. This can play again. Okay, Turnbull up the line. Oh, Charles Bloomer throwing that flick, and it's very, very, very reliable. Across the guy balls. To, oh, to, to Bidler. Oh, some sort of a pick in there. Not sure what was in that of. Southside calling Balmain. They use the geographical areas to determine where they're going to go. Toby Feidler under this with Dougie under. Feidler strong in the air, strong overhead. Taking his time here, which is smart. Oh my God. Craig Turnbull, usually very solid with the frisbee in hand. Slightly chaotic here. Charlie Bloomer, again available as he has been all game so far. Guy Bowles. This is a tense time. This is a huge point for Southside. Bowles. Back to Bloomer, very patient. Bloomer with a flick, and that's a fantastic flick under those sort of pressure. Feidler wants to get this off the line. And oh my god. There's a foul called on that. Probably a foul on the back end. 
Andy Norman uh, fully agreeing on the sideline with that call. He said he would have made it himself, basically incriminating his own team. Like if he uh, wasn't fouled, how far would it have gone downfield? Yeah. <laughs> Possibly I've misinterpreted Andy there. It's possible he, he thinks that's slightly contentious, that call. They can play. Number 32, back to Bloomer, really getting a lot of the frisbee. Turnbull running Steve Campbell around, and that's a ooh, pick on that play, I think. This can play Southside. Charles Bloomer having an absolute blinder out there, really, really running the show. That's a huge upwind point. Uh, Victorian heads down a little. Right, Victoria, the pull, we've just missed the pull, but it's downwind pull. Victoria in a bit of trouble, and that's an early turnover. Southside pumped up on the side on Will Mitchell, saying, I'm going to turn this over, get rid of Craig St- Yeah, Chris Stevens, the boy from Mildura, with the flick, and the score, Southside pumped. Errol, the man the women love to love. Come to me. 7-5 Southside, good upwind pull by Jonathan Potts. Now, to date, there's been nobody injured deliberately by the Victorians. They're 7-5 down, now surely is the time. Jonathan Potts is out there. Is it going to be Jonathan? It's going to be Will Mitchell. It's a long backhand pull. Shane is under it. Cass is under it. It's a hanging disc. It may end out of... Oh, my God, that's a fantastic take from Shane. His body position is fantastic. And a tr- Oh, but there's a travel... On the throw, called by Guy Bowles. Great take, Shane! Straight up the line, guys, straight up! The call's been straight up, which is not to give me the side. Nice flake, looking for. Oh, Will Mitchell with that fantastic backhand. No foul call on it. Sats, oh. Oh. <laughs> Travel on the throw, great catch on the second attempt by John for Potts. Guy Bowles has had a turnover and has looked a little shaky for a man who normally is perfect with the disc. Jens Meyer with a fumble. Again, not something you see too often. Tom Rogacki, huge point here. Beautiful crossfield flick. Tao Brown. Very unlikely to be wearing any underwear underneath those shorts. Tom Rogacki, that looks a bit speculative. Oh! was a little specky, but... Uh, Doug will feel he should have caught that. He'll be disappointed with himself. Well, Mitchell will bring it in on the line. Off the line straight away, which is textbook ultimate. Jens Maher, the beautiful flick. Jonathan Potts. Again, Charles Bloomer, moving a powerhouse in this game. Will Mitchell getting more involved. Inside out backhand. Cass here, a nice little low air bounce backhand. Charles Bloomer again getting open all game. And that's a interesting throw but good grab by Errol his reputation on field as big as his reputation off field it's explaining some facts to uh, Tao who of course never did complete high school Errol looking for the flick. I'd be surprised if it doesn't go into the ground. And really, uh, not a great option, but there could easily be a foul call on this. Guy Bowles, I think it is, is down. Uh, holding his shoulder. Let's, let's. I did predict there would be uh, an injury on this point, so I can't say this surprises me. Though it doesn't look like a broken bone, so I doubt if this was actually deliberate. I, I think they're probably saving tail for the big hit there's a foul on the line Sasha Vidal has replaced Guy Balls he'll want to get that off the line oh it's getting high in the count low backhand Jonathan Potts great hands that is a massive point for Southside at 5 Andy Norman striding onto the field he's uh, about to take care of business look at those calves look at that shapely buttocks uh, has there ever been a man like him He's the Adonis of uh, Victorian Ultimate. He's given a little rub to the groin there just to please the female and the male viewers out there. Sure, Toby Vidler, Nathan. Charles Bloomer on again. 
obsession for Adler. Come on, hustle south side. Well, my chill, Jens Marr and Cass. Down on pole, Andy Norman, the designated receiver to Alex Evans. Would have looked for Dan on the swing there, but didn't get any motion. Southside down very quickly. You're right, Cass. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Stay inside. Stay inside. <laughs> This is the uh, Feld runner or isolation play where Tom Rogacki is isolated in the middle of the field, marked by Sasha Weidler, but he has a big height advantage. What they're looking to do is just give him a lot of space to himself because he's so dominant in the air. Most throws that should go up should be caught by him, and that's what you're about to see. And now it's straight into a huck. Cass a little out of... out of, uh, And he's read that well. The disc is really held up. Jens Marr cutting in. Oh my god. That's a very average throw downwind by Will Mitchell. Oh. Oh no. This looks I think I think that's Nathan and I th- I think it's Jens Marr and he really grimaced, but I think he's okay. He's up. He's taken something in the ribs. It was a a good block and a turnover. Jens limping off, he's had some knee problems. So, uh, Andy Norman, some comments here. Was that part of the plan, Andy? Um, trying to take two and one? We lure them in. We lure them in. So Tom's theory is we can give away a few turnovers if we can take out a few of their players. So he'll see the two guys coming together and he knows if he passes it between them that they're going to take each other out. So his idea is that we might go down at half, but in the long run there's going to be so many injuries which will come back and they basically won't be able to field a turn. And, and, and this is a Victorian set player which has worked for you in your in your previous in games. The other games against Queensland worked a treat. Excellent. Thanks for the inside comments, Andy. Luckily, I think Jens and Nathan are both a little sore, uh, but probably a little the worse for wear, but both seem to be relatively okay. Sasha Vider, this back in play. Charles Bloomer, again, having a storming game. Crossfield flick. Oh, sort of a wobbly flick there from Sasha Vider, unfortunately. Pick, so stoppage in play. Mitchell calling dominator. I'm not sure what that means. Another pick called here, so it'll be back to thrower. This is a critical point. Um, if Southside take this, they'll go up 9-5, which in the context of this game, in the context of this sport, is a very significant lead. Particularly given that Victoria were up uh, early on by one or two points. Chris Fair, Charles Bloomer again getting up and... Well, oh, Toby Vidler with the grab, having a check of the disc because it looks a little worse for wear. Will Mitchell is coming into his own now. Vidler, oh, Bloomer again. Bloomer with the flick. Vidler with the crossfield hammer. That is money to Andy Morris. That is the half. 9 5 south side. A very, very impressive run of points. We've got, we've got Jeff, we've got Sasha, we've got Lee. We've got Shane, we've got um, Jason, Tom and Steve. That's the Victorian lineup here, lining up for the second half of this classic final, the National Ultimate Championships 2004, lining up against Southside from Sydney, the beautiful city. And I think we've been through most of their lineup. Sasha Vider, the Southside captain, taking responsibility, catching the disc to Chris Fair, ex Australian rep now, semi retired, Jonathan Potts, Australian captain, and that's how good this lineup is. Craig Turnbull, also a world's representative. And this looks like some sort of an isolation. Kiss there from Will Mitchell, not something any of us would desire. Sasha Weidler, short pass. Sasha, the, 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 the jink and run. He's an, an exponent, a master of it. Craig Turnbull, safe as goals. Looking for Errol. It's a beautiful pass. That's a huge first point. Walk that in easily. Errol will go back to his harem now on the sideline. 10 5. Southside pulling up wind. Andy Morris, big backhand pull. That's a nice pull. I'd be happy with that. Andy Norman sitting under it. To Alex Evans, cross field to Dan. Flick to the middle of the field, Teo Brown. Looks for the, oh my god, and he's overthrown that by about 130 yards. Field, Will Mitchell. Stepping around. Doug's done his job. Charlie Bloomer. 
fell on that flake just seemed to lose his footing but still released could be a critical turnover in the context of the game Tom Regaki an exponent of the high scuba which is the disc being thrown upside down Alex Evans cross field Tao Brown wants the backhand here puts it up to Tom Regaki a great bid from Guy Balls disc isn't in Needs to get this off the line. Will he do so? Does. To Doug. Breaks the mark, and that's an easy point. That was a critical point. Without that, Victoria, it might have been the end. It's trying to have some heart here. Chris Fair. Experienced. Cool. Can collect it. Nice. Oh. I must have put the mocker on him. This could be big. Victoria with the turnover. Though they don't have the go-to man, Mr. Tom. Rogaki on the field. But they do have Teo Brown with a very attractive piece of plaster on his left elbow there. Steve Campbell, Australian representative with the disc. Back to Shane. New Zealand mixed player that will be in uh, Finland this year. Steve Campbell, they're working it short here. Trying to get some distance. Oh no, a bit slow there. Nice cutting from Steve Campbell. Chris Fair struggling to keep up. Oh, Arno almost did enough. Will Mitchell holding off it. Sasha Varda doing a good job on Shane. Arno, can he get a bid? No. Must stop the flake and in fact does with a great hand block. Expert commentary here from Lachlan Yates, one of the finest players who have ever played the game, in his own opinion, and uh, current Australian representative. Lachlan, your take? Well, I think Southside are gaining a great advantage from being offside every pull. Uh, I think Victoria's playing very well. They're just playing in the wrong colour shirts tonight, and uh, it's a shame, because their game plan is working well, and there's a hard cut off for Sasha, and it's hitting Errol, and it's hit it. And that's pretty much the story of the day, really. A lot of hucks from Southside. But, and we're looking through Errol's got the disc he's throwing out to Sasha Steve Campbell's on him Sasha's gone for a big take he's gone for the greatest but it's down it's down and uh, look, we'll pass oh Steve Campbell's running back up to the line Steve Campbell one of the most exciting players in Australia also, and fouled horrendously horrendously by Sasha and there's, there's, there's a pat in the back they're pretending like they're friends but it's hard to see how a nice guy could be friends with someone like Sasha I've seen Sasha do that. Thanks for the unbiased commentary there from Lachlan Yates. Clearly a uh, objective viewer of the game. Tao Brown, the crossfield swing. Another chance. It's redemption for Victoria here. They look dead in the water. They're showing they have some heart here. Crossfield to Tao Brown having a strong game. Tao looking for the crossfield backhand. A lot of pressure from Errol. His, uh, his female audience on the sideline going wild. Errol being talked to in a uh, fairly firm voice by Guy Bowles. Crossfield swing. Oh my God. Steve Campbell has a look at his hands, realizes he only has two fingers on the. Oh, it's a timeout. Southside very happy with that. Here we have Andy Norman again, the brains behind the Victorian team. What um, would you say the main problem is there, Andy? That was a cue for you. Andy, tactically uh, very astute, has. Uh, has the jigsaw puzzle in his hand. He's having a bit of trouble putting the pieces together and I think that's the problem with Victorian Ultimate. Um, Andy. Yeah. Right, disc is back in play. A little bit of chatter out there. Chris Fair, Jonathan Potts struggling to get open. I'm not sure what the call was there. Possibly a foul call. That's great defense from Jason McSheffery. But it could be an easy point here, though Errol has a habit of throwing what we would call swill, and he does that, but Will Mitchell comes up with the goods. It's 11-6, sad side, Toby Weidler, Cass. Big pull from Guy Balls, upwind. This is a game to 17, but there is a time cap of 90 minutes. So if one team is more than two points in front at 90 minutes, it's game over. When the buzzer goes, they play that point. 
Oh my god, that's not a great option, but it's been caught by Tomogaki. That's a backhand. That's a great throw and a great cut from Steve Campbell. Get the D, guys. Get the D. Get the D. There goes the hooter, which means this point is played. But if I've interpreted the rules correctly, oh my God! Sorry, turn over there from Chris Fair. Wasn't a great throw from Ono, but if I've interpreted this correctly, Southside have actually won this game because Victoria can only finish if they score this point within three points. They can only get to within three points, which means it's game over. I, uh, I wait. That's an inside out flick from Tom, which is um, going, going, going. Come on, Southside! No. Southside, score this point! Come on, Chris! Will Mitchell picking the frisbee up, being marked by Doug. Some kind of a zone from. That's a terrible throw, but Jonathan Potts strong in the air. A hammer flick, crossfield back end. This is absolute champagne ultimate. Andy, Andy Morris with a sensational grab and toe hug. It's game over. The champions, the deserved champions, Southside haven't lost a game all tournament, and have really looked dominant throughout. Uh, MVP for me, I thought Charlie Bloomer ran the show in the first half. Um, well, obviously, some tremendous performances from both teams. Tom Rogaki was always going to be a dominant figure. Jonathan Potts, uh, Tarlis, and uh, with some big plays at crucial t- time, Sasha Feidler, ballet like on the field, um, and of course, Andy Norman, who uh, simply has won so many MVPs that it would be embarrassing to give him any more. But yeah, I think Charlie Bloomer for me. A great performance from both teams, pulling it together now for a bit of uh, a bit of shared love. <laughs> here, we, here we are with the uh, champions, the Australian Ultimate Champions. Will Mitchell's been requested an interview, but we've denied it. Here we are with Sasha Vidler, the captain of Southside from Sydney. Champions this year. Sasha, how does it feel? Feels fantastic, mate. I've uh, played about eight finals, I think, and this is... Uh, oh, sorry, eight, eight nationals and uh, only three finals, and this is only the... Uh, second I think I've won so it's just fantastic it's really uh, it's really hard with a new format to um, just to get into the finals and uh, you know to win it we're, we're very very happy the guys played a fantastic game fantastic semi this morning and a fantastic game today in the final so very happy and Sash this is certainly your first nationals as captain as well mm. interesting uh, challenge for you there well, not really, because we've got a, a heap of leaders in this team. Guy and uh, Jonathan and Chris and Andy and Jens. We've all got heaps of experience, and uh, really that helped us win. I mean, Guy was leading the D, Jonathan was great on O, and you know, the team worked together. Sometimes with a lot of Chiefs it can be a problem, but this team was great. Really worked together well. And the obvious question, Sasha, Will Mitchell, um, how did you keep him under control? It's, uh, it's been a task for many an Australian captain in the past, and none have really succeeded. Looks like you did the job. What's your secret? Truth be known, just let him have his way. I think I've got to uh, talk over here. Thanks very much, Sasha. Undefeated champions. Thanks very much. Sasha Fiddler, Southside, 2004 Australian Ultimate Champions, and well deserved.